Hello everyone and welcome to First 20 here on Steven Plays. My name is Steven George, I play video games, and every Friday it's the first 20 minutes or so of a game. Today we are taking a look at We Happy Few, and this is a game that you might know better as the 1960s game where everyone takes drugs in order to stay happy. Does that ring a bell? How about the game that has been shown over and over again for years but is still not out yet? That might be ring more bells. Well, guess what? It's out today. Yes, today. You guys are getting this first 20 on Friday. It is out Friday, today, and uh, I'm going to be playing the PC version, but it's also available on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Uh, this uh, copy was provided to me by the developer, so thank you for that. I'm looking forward to seeing what the game is all about. I, I was really interested uh, when it was shown at E3 a few years ago. Since then, I have stayed interested every time they've given a little update about it, and uh, it's exciting that the game is finally out. So let's jump in and uh, see what we can learn about We Happy Few. Uh, game mode story, difficulty normal, start. <laughs> Begin or not yet? Begin. Act 1, Arthur. Happy people have no past. Press spacebar. I can do that. Uh, you can probably tell, but I'm playing the PC version. <laughs> Approved. So I remember seeing this uh, this part specifically in uh, the like the E3 build. Quite some time ago. Oh, heavens no. Also, what a job. Just <laughs> removing history. Oh, God. Oh, that's. Ooh, that's us. My joy, shouldn't I? All right, so we get to play Restoration Machine and Joy. Okay, so we can we can either try and remember, or we can take our joy. Joy is the uh, psychoactive drug that. Uh, basically affects our perception of reality. I'm gonna remember. <laughs> Percy! Percy! been up to? No one's seen you for hours. Ah, oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a bug on a drug. Well, come on then, finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Aha! The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. Nice seeing you! Uh... Power cell. I do hope you're planning on finishing by victory day. Oh, here we go. I, I got it! You, pr you proud of me? Curfew in effect at night. 
What are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. We'll look out for each other. That's what we'll do. Right. Nobody's having nightmares over that. Well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the piñata. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. Right. Go ahead and censor that. Oh, more to work on. Drug trials are qualified success. Uh, drugs to be tested in human volunteers. Despondency can be induced in rats by repeatedly giving them electric shocks. Uh, uh, we don't need that mm. around. Alrighty then. I'm all, I'm all set for the day. Fantastic. Can I take the power cell? I can! I'll just take this with me. Just take it in case I need it on the road. We can search the file cabinets. Seems nice. Do you think the canister wonders what life's like outside the tube? Of course he'd have to break the tube to get out. Well, that would break it for everybody. I can't go in there. Clive Earth Whistle. You're off at the party, aren't you? Business leather. Uh, oh look! Miss Bing has written Clive a letter. Dear Mr. Bert Whistle, it is so thoughtful of you to suggest how best to rearrange the department. I am always grateful for suggestions from junior staff of how best to do my job as director. However, I am afraid that it would be destabilizing to swap your office with other Mr. Hastings. Fortunately, turnover in this department is high. If Prue doesn't return soon, I don't see why you couldn't have her office. In the meantime, I suggest you pop another joy and you'll feel the sunshine on your face, whether you have a window or not. All the best, Victoria Bing, director. <laughs> Take that, Clive, you little shit. Huh. We spin. Keep your chin up. Got a cricket back. Huh. File cabinets. Scrap of paper. And here's the leather in what I'm almost positive is Clive's terrible handwriting. Dear Director Bing, one of your employees is a subversive and may even be a downer. I overheard him in the commissary telling a friend that he thinks that his job redacting old articles is silly. And what's so scary about the truth? He is very tall and slim with black hair and brown eyes and glasses. I know I should have asked his name, but I am naturally a shy woman. And, and there it leaves off. A shy woman, are you, Clive? Or just a nasty, manipulative schemer? Huh. Interesting. That little shit. He wants my view. So I can also use this redactor, this restoration machine. I don't know if I want to spend the entire first 20 redacting stuff. I should probably keep going. I keep taking power cells, though. I'm stealing all the power cells. Whatever happened to you, Prudence? E come back. Oh, I didn't take my joy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Gross. Can use this redactor, too. Wellington. You're not coming back, are you, Prue? But where did you go? Huh. Just the, just the fact that you can do the um, exam of full... Are you off your joy, Pro? I mean, you too. So it kinda, you kind of get the impression in this dystopian world, if you, if you are off your joy, if you're off the drug that makes you happy all the time, that you are removed from society, which is horrifying. This also strikes me as the type of game that's got... Uh, no. A lot no, of lore. I took my joy. I took my joy. No. no. Leave me alone. No.
Oh, hi Arthur. Did that just happen? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if I'm, I'm like hallucinating things that did happen or... I'm between two realities because of the drug. Well, we seem to be a bit behind in our work now that you mention it. God, there's a lot of stuff around. It's kind of surprising it lets you search all these uh, file cabinets. Well, this is creepy. You put it in their rum, don't you? They're not going to give up their rum, are they? Even if it tastes a bit limey. And once they were drinking... Oh my god, this is like on an entire building outside. That was called Grog. Yes, and that's why we Brits are called... Well, it's, uh... It's very creepy, this, like, dystopian future where there's a godlike figure on the walls telling you what to do. Out for lunch. Happy is the country that has no history. There you are. You nearly missed the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the sweets come out. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Give it a whack. Smash it. Go on, smash its silly face off. Oh god. Oh man! I remember this from the E3 trailer. You are off your joy. Take one of mine. Oh my lord. He's a downer. Full security. We've got a downer. Take your joy. Take your joy. Oh, that's bad. Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. See a sneak. Down. Feel like that would hurt. Running. Still okay. Put that down. Oh. I'll fix you. You smell gas. Flaming Nora. Forget him, there's no time. Gracious. Goodness. Gracious. Uh, okay, so that... That... Beginning part, and it didn't... Like, jog the memory until I saw them beating the rat. That was the... That was the E3 portion. So I'm assuming after this, we'll all be new, because I, I don't think I've seen anything past that point. When experiencing memory loss from joy hangover, you look awful, which upsets people. Best stay hidden and ride it out. Uh, Christ, I thought of those bastards chased me. They were bridges, weren't they? And tunnels. I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. I don't even think I'm still in the village. God. Do not open. Authorized personnel only. Also, I find I have a HUD now. Uh, day one. I've got a clock that's actually ticking up, so time is passing. I've got a, a radar or compass. Joy and a health meter. There's a little rat. Pile of coins. Let's see what else uh, we can find in here. Nothing in the desk. Sovereign. Not sure what the sovereign was. Nothing in the desk again. Parts storage. Okay. Bobby pins. I've seen a few things that talked about lock picking, so I'm assuming the bobby pins are probably for lock picking. There's a lot of bobby pins. Empty pill bottle. 
Oh yeah, nothing like an empty pill bottle to get your motor running. Sovereign. Search fridge. Rupert Underhill memo. He's not off his joy, he's lost the plot completely, and he's hoarding all the carrots, and he growls at me when I try to eat mine. I'm going to try to talk sense to him, then I'm coming back to the village, duty be damned. Not sure what that was about. Bobby pins. Bobby pins. Pile of coins. You can craft many things in the crafting menu. Okay, tie a string. Uh, dear Rupert, are you quite certain Teddy's off his joy? Perhaps he merely forgot. You've got to look after your mates, man. Have you tried tying a string around his finger? That always helps me. Anyway, I can't reassign Teddy because I haven't got a replacement. All the juniors are off at Scargill. The subsidence has been severing all sorts of connections and the modeline must flow. I really appreciate your sticking by your post. If we don't do our duty, who are we? But try the string around the finger. I feel certain you will manage the situation. All my best, Jimmy. Yeah, there's a there's a good bit of lore, which is nice. You can craft many things in the crafting menu. Dirty bandage. Getting a nasty infection is better than bleeding out, right? So if you have one cloth scrap, you can make three dirty bandages. Okay. Proper suit. Tools. Jimmy bar. Lockpick. You know how everyone in movies can pick locks? Now you can too! Okay, so two bobby pins makes one lockpick. Do I need to? I don't know. I'll just make one for now. Jolliest brawly. You give your opponents the shock of their lives with a superb weaponized umbrella. Okay. Um, so you have to get certain things. And then you can make... Okay, so what else is in this menu? Oh, look, we got a little outfit! A proper suit. And proper shoes. Health, food and drinks, gadgets. That's our lockpick, I guess. Don't have a whole lot else available other than bobby pins and this empty pill bottle. It's for mints. Yeah, that's uh, that's what you should say. It's for mints. Okay, so there's a, uh, a point system for a skill tree. And you got status effects. Hunger, thirst, fatigue, vitals, attributes. Wow. Minor damage taken. There's a lot in here. That was the crafting system. This is our map. Pretty neat. And I'll probably just sit it here because I think we'll be crafting more in the future. There we go. Three years of the salamander and me getting into constant trouble finally pay off. There's a lot of bobby pins around too. All right. So I think I grabbed everything in here. Let's go across the hall. Laboratory. I definitely heard something. Medicine cabinet. What's that? Diary of Prudence Holmes. Oh, it's that Prudence girl. Okay, well, I'm, I'm not going to read every single little thing that I find, because this is the first 20. We're already getting close to time, and I'd like... I, I feel like I haven't gotten into the game, so this is going to run long, so I'm going to stop reading all of this stuff. But, as you can see, it seems like there's quite a bit of lore in the game, which is really, really nice. Prudence really did run off. And she ran this way. I wonder if I'll see her again. Finding dirty bandages. I can also check the toilets. Sovereign looks like some sort of coin. Uh, otherwise, nothing around here. And I can't take the broom. I need oh. some odds and bobs and bits of metal to make a lockpick. I already made one, so I can get this thing open. Perfect. What happened to him? Or rather, who? Rupert Underhill. You got anything on you, bud? Not a thing. Okay. I don't know what an electro... What is this? Dirty bandage. That's not what I need. Gadgets. This device opens one simple electronic lock. Then the magic smoke escapes and it's of no use anymore. Okay. I can open electronic locks with that. Limit joy to once per hour. Good, a syringe. Perfect. I was wondering why I could get a handy syringe. What is this? Promises. Are they going to hurt us? No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I, I promise. But, but 
Have they heard the city? I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other. So apparently there's a little mass reveal... Things about our past? Some history? Seems so. So that's another diary. I'm gonna pick it up for later, but I'm not gonna read it right now. Pneumatic stash. Uh, when you craft, you can use any items in your pneumatic stash, no matter where you are. Oh, that's cool! So you can store stuff in here, and it just is with you. It's kind of wild. You can also sleep. Ah, interesting. Oh, and it'll tell you how it, uh, how it adjusts stuff. So, you actually have to sleep. And it affects how much health you have, too. Okay, well, I'm not gonna sleep right now. And I can check my, my rest by clicking here, fatigue. So I can see how, how tired I am. You can also, you also get thirsty and hungry. Bobby pins. Track access hatch. I probably don't want to do that before I check out whatever this room is. Is there anything over here? No? Okay. It's locked. Okay, so of course I'm gonna have to use this thing I just got. There we go. So now I can open this up. And then I can Oh god! Oh, we're gonna fight. Okay. Ow! Take your job! Get happy! Jesus! That's the first fight I've won since primary school. Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school. Theodore Miner didn't have anything on him. Cool. Uh, hold V, craft lockpick, and then pick the file cabinet lock. Is there going to be anything worthwhile in here? No. <laughs> There hasn't been anything in the file cabinets yet, so I don't know why I thought. Oh, duct tape and metal bits. Doggone it. I should I should have known. And like there's not gonna be anything in there, but it was worth checking. Button, press button. I like buttons. The lighting changed. Turn the lights on, I guess. Hold on. <laughs> Well, what do we have here? This is a little freaky. I should probably stand up. Rotten carrot. Rotten carrot. Oh, we were reading... Oh, there's a chest in here. Oh, goodness, look at those supplies. We were reading a thing earlier that was talking about a guy that was stealing carrots or something. I can crawl back up here. Oh, this is what I heard, because I heard a, a noise from this air vent earlier. Well, that explains that. All right, let's go back. My health is not real high, um, unfortunately. How do I increase my health? Because it is only 49%, and that is not many percents. I got a dart. Interesting health. Food and drinks. Uh, it's oozing with calories, and I do mean oozing, and also useful in crafting antiseptic. Okay, so it increases your food meter. Increases your food meter. Food meter. I need health. So this stops bleeding. Stops bleeding can cause infection. Okay, well, I just want my health to go up, man. I don't know. I'm not sure how to do I know I can sleep. Should I sleep? Power the hatch. Too bad I don't have any other hatches to go to just yet. Okay, walk to another hatch. Alright, I'm not exactly sure what how that works. So if I sleep, I can gain... But you have to sleep for a long time. <laughs> I can sleep for 24 hours, and can I do that? Does that matter? Now I lay me down to sleep. I'm getting a bit thirsty. I better find something to drink. Where's a pub when you need one? I didn't even it's think about that. Barrel home, isn't it? 
When you uh, consume food, your maximum stamina increases for a short time. When you are too hungry, your maximum stamina decreases. When you drink, the cost of sprinting is reduced. When you're too thirsty, sprinting costs more stamina. While ignoring this won't kill you, do try to remember to eat and drink so you benefit from nutrition and hydration. So it won't kill us. It just makes things not as convenient. Well, there was a sink back here. So I can drink, right? It's interesting that all this is built in. Um, so, oh, I'm very hungry, very thirsty. Because I don't got nothing. Did that increase? Okay, so I'm no longer thirsty. Okay. And again, it said that this won't kill you, which is nice. It's just, you know, so you don't get hungry. This could give me food poisoning. This won't. So, use. Am I hungry again? Nope. No longer hungry. Cool. Awesome. All right. Well, I, sur <laughs> I survived. Now I can get out of here. And I got my health back, too, which isn't too bad. Bridge. I've got to get to the bridge in the parade district, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Ah, the train station. If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? I suppose back in those days, we could remember where things were. Escape Wellington Wells. All right, so that takes me... Apparently, it'll still let me go back. Oh, who are you? Carolitz Temez deceased. Do you have anything on you, though? Potatoes, man. I'll take them. It's weird. Like, th this is actually far more complex than I was expecting it would be. Um, also, for whatever reason, I had in my mind there was going to be, like, a... Like, a shooter. And it, it doesn't seem to be that way at all. It's much more focused on adventure and exploring. This is all destroyed. Let's see here. In peacetime, they'll come back. Liars. It's like a male. This might be the one Sally and me tried to blow up. I always wondered what happened to the letters. There was an awful lot of smoke. So you can crawl over this. So it was, it was pointing me the other direction, but it seems pretty open-ended. But it, it will not let me climb. It does not want me to... Oh, hold on. Maybe, maybe, maybe it will. I don't know where I'm going now. It's like, travel to the train station. I'm like, I'll do as I please. Dig spot. Dig spot discovered. Rotten apple. I hope this doesn't give me food poisoning. People somehow never know this Arthur when he's sitting down unless they're already enraged at him. This doesn't work at night, though. So I'm trying to avoid being, like, spotted and stuff. All right, down we go. Uh, this is kind of cool because, like, it's pretty open-ended. It's like, you should go this way, but I decided to go just a completely different direction. And I was more or less rewarded for it. And one thing to keep in mind is the time of day, though, since that's probably going to play into things. Sleeping for as long as I did... It's probably not generally recommended, but it worked. And there's it, and there's so many supplies if you're willing to look around. Big splinter. Looks like the place is uh, not in great shape. Not really. Just want to check stuff if I can. Oh, well, that's creepy. This is for the benefit of Mr. Kite. The rabbit got into the garden. The rabbit got into the garden. Sounds like some sort of secret message. Huh. Requires Jimmy Bar. I saw that in here, but uh, I ain't got I ain't got enough metal bits to make a Jimmy Bar. Which is a real shame. Cause I could use some coinage. I'm not gonna be able to get that way, I'm sure. No. All right, let's ignore that and continue. Uh, am I stuck on? A small ledge has foiled my plans, everyone. Let's see. I mean, we're ultimately heading I am in coming for you, Percy. this direction. I haven't got it all figured out, but I will find you. The Garden District. This is creepy.
creepy. Tea party. Trying not to read everything, so I'm just going to pick it up and keep moving. Plenty of food around. I mean, it's rotten, so, like, does that count as food? It's uh, kind of an emergency food, probably. Tea leaves, tea cup. Rotting meat. Do we have, uh... That's one thing about it. Do we have... Okay, yeah. We can be over-encumbered. We can hold 100 pounds, and we've got 7 pounds. <laughs> tea! Tea cup! You can just take all sorts of stuff, if you really want to. I don't know if this stuff will come in handy or not. There's another house that we can, uh, search. And I haven't seen any people, which is probably for the best. When will they stop crying? A crib. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. When was the last time there was a baby in Wellington, Wales? Charcoal. Like they couldn't remember their faces. Well, they couldn't stand remembering them. Yeah, this isn't creepy at all. Uh, is there anything else in here? Oh, wow. I'm starting to find all sorts of stuff. In fact, arguably too much stuff. Got a lot of charcoal, probably used for crafting. Uh, let's see if there's anything upstairs. Oh, wow, there's stuff everywhere. So that's what's playing. What's on those beds? Oh, God. I'm not the only one remembering the children, am I? Makes sense. They're all off their joy out here. Jeez. There's a chest over there if I can jump to it. Anything else to pick up? Toy tea set. Funny. Percy never played with toys. They didn't like anything that wasn't really the thing it was supposed to be. It's locked. locked. Aha. Uh -huh. But I remember how to make a lock pick. Yeah, I do. Opening a chest makes more sense than a uh, file cabinet. A loose screw. I, I opened that for a loose screw. Mechanical bits. Sure. All right, this is uh, certainly much more to this than I originally thought. I was kind of hoping I could get... Okay, I'm not crouched, am I? No. Oof. Careful there, bud. I've got plenty of uh, lockpicks now, so I might as well open these things up to take whatever's inside. Duct tape. Uh, okay. All right, I'll read this one. I'm sorry to report that the girl spoon wouldn't... The girl spoon wouldn't eat her porridge, so I sent her to bed without supper. Uh... Okay. More metal bits. More metal bits. Been finding, uh... Plenty of stuff. It's not even noon yet. Alright, I'm nearly to my destination, so maybe I should... Be a little more focused. Well, to fill up a canteen or two, shouldn't I? I mean, I gotta find a canteen. Do you have a canteen? You do! Wonderful. Uh, fill a canteen. Um, am I thirsty at all? A little bit thirsty, so let's drink from the pump. No longer thirsty, and then let's fill up this container. This ought to be pretty clean, unlike in the village where they spike it with joy. Man, I've gotten a ton of supplies. These are uh, a little creepy. Seeing chalk in the in the park is normally a good thing, but the eyeballs are a little off-putting. Have to admit. Let's head down this way and see what we can find. Nice suit. Thank you. My uncle bought it for me last Christmas. Anxious to get back home to village. Well, I. Uh, well. I live in the parade. No, <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Now where I could mug a bobby? <laughs> You're a brave one, aren't you? No. 
I'll trade you one. Don't you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. When they all catch the plague and die, then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there, with the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. If you get them back for me, I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me in that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? My medals. From the war. I won the DSO at Dunkirk and the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny they thought it was. No, I will need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd have stole most of those too? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, off I go to a camp of robbers. Maybe I can defeat them with my rapier sharp wit. Okay, so I can get in here with a lockpick, but I can't get through the gate without a power cell and an electrical card? Ah, key card. <laughs> Jimmy bar. I can- oh, I can craft a Jimmy bar now. Sovereigns. Sure. Okay. Activate capacitor, which requires a power cell. So that's why I need this stuff. Oh, I'm out of the material to make lockpicks, so that's fun. I have to find more of those. All right. So he said I can find him somewhere nearby. Buy stuff. So much to choose from. So I've got 32 pounds. I can buy all sorts of different things if I need. I'm going to pass on all this for now. And get up over there. I'm not sure what exactly will change at night. Maybe it'll just be dark. Maybe there's, like, a, a big gameplay change at night. Not entirely sure. But continuing to try and find, you know, materials to work with is not bad. Also, it looks like it auto-put darts. Yeah. In here. I'm not sure why. Heaven's alive. It's a bloody fortress. Oh, God. Hooligan camp. Yeah, maybe there's multiple ways to approach this. I might be able to sneak in. I might be able to talk my way inside. I probably don't want to fight my way inside. I don't know if I'll make it. Probably be dead. Speaking of... I was going to say, how do you save the game? Might be a good time. Not that I'm worried at all. Of course not. No. I'm brave. I'm very brave. Just kind of... Getting an idea, like walking around the perimeter, seeing what's uh, what my options are. Huh. Well, <sighs> stealth route. Oh, well, hello there. Disposable safe cracker. Weapons will break after repeated use. It also upsets people when you carry them around openly. What weapon did I get? Weapons. I don't have a weapon. What do, you, what do you mean a weapon? I don't even have a way to make a weapon. They're just telling me about weapons. I'm like, I don't got no weapons. What do you mean a weapon? I mean, I I got this dart. Which I don't think is the same thing. Pick lock. Uh, yeah, alright, we're doing this. Oh my god. I guess we're doing the stealth route. Okay. Warning, you are trespassing. You don't say. You don't say. Sally would have loved this if we could never get in here. Oh, God. Like, I don't know if I can, like, take people out or what. That's a terrible noise. I don't see anybody. Nor do I really hear anybody. I guess I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices. You don't think anyone will notice an elevator? Are you crazy? It's 
jammed. Oh my god. Sure. Sure. What could go wrong? Can this go further down? Uh, lovely day, Fred. A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight. In the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive. I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I can write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. Or we'll leave you there to starve. Okay. Gird thy loins for the moment of truth, for it is upon you. The game has a great sense of humor, though, I have to admit. Also, there goes my entire inventory. Maybe I should read this. Tracking a quest. When you have multiple quests, you can choose which one. That's fine. Headboy rules. For little George's initiation, he has to win an arena fight with a tourist. No for fighting ra wastral weaklings. Fresh meat only. Steal food not looted from a dead boy. Sneak into a village and steal a bobby hat. Clean my leather jacket. See if he can keep blood off that lovely suit. Oh my the god. <laughs> Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Literally nothing. In the other corner. Is our two-time winner. Like do I have I can't I don't have anything. Of course I don't cuz they took all my stuff. Bloody hell. Arthur Hastings? I'm sorry. I, I don't I don't think I know you. Of course you know me. You got me sacked from the old current. Oh, yeah. I, I don't remember that. I, I, I don't work there anymore. You thought one of my articles was insufficiently original. Danny Defoe. You, you've lost a bit of weight. To be fair, you did copy my piece line by line. Who gives a shit, Hastings? A newspaper's supposed to make you feel good. Nobody remembers what they read. I don't want to fight you. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now, lads, choose your weapons. One is quite lethal. The other will just give the other chap some bad dreams. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? And Danny's picked the lethal one. That's cheery. <laughs> hey, guy, I've got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's got to come on strong with that lead pipe. You've got to want to block that. How do I do that? Got it. Sorry, Danny. Nothing personal, buddy. Uh. Uh. Quite a bit. Quite a bit to this uh, combat system. Uh. Oh, my stamina. Chance to have a double or quits. Oh. 
Oh my god! Yeah. Take your rain easy on us. Jesus. Oh god. Oh my health. I wish they could hit each other. Doesn't seem like it's possible. Oh god, I'd rather not fight both at once. Oh, got one. That's a problem. Oh god. Ow! Alright, we have to make this quick. Sorry. Nothing personal. I uh, just really need a weapon. Oh god. Please get down. Down my blocks in kindergarten. Oh. Oh. Are you It's been a real pleasure having you over. <laughs> Catch you later. Are you serious? What? Can I talk to that guy? No, oh, he just has a light on his head. I'm free? Okay, just oh, th thanks, Th thank you. Uh, it was fun. Oh my god, I'm alive. I'm barely alive, but I'm alive. I'll put the weapon away since they don't like it. Oh, God. Well, good. Wonderful. These people are dead. Who would have thought that they're not letting me go? Um, and I, I still, I don't have my stuff, because of course I don't have my stuff. I got this. <laughs> Probably not worth anything. I need something to restore my health. Or I need to be allowed to, like, I don't know, take a nap or something. Dear God in heaven. Uh, da, 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 Jimmy Bar. Yeah, I'm gonna steal at this point. Sorry. And trying to, uh, you know, avoid it. Not anymore. Screw you. I'm taking all your stuff because you tried to kill me. I mean, I did, like, I guess, <laughs> break in. Oh, my lord, my health is very low. This is not a good situation for me uh, at all. Oh, that looks like a better situation for me. First aid kit. Okay. Some sort of vent. I wonder if I can pry it loose. I'd need a Jimmy bar. Which I just took. Mm, first, health. Stop that nasty bleeding and feel a tad better. Restores a moderate amount of health. Yes. Use. Okay. What's my stats? Oh, my health's a hundred. That was more than a moderate amount. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motoline dispenser. That chap at the bridge said I'd need a power cell and his war medals. Completing quests throughout Wellington Wells will give you skill points. To use your skill points, open the skill tree by pressing tab. When you've earned enough points, you can purchase skills to improve your abilities. Purchase the Sweet Dreams skill. Okay, which one is that? This one probably? Quietly choke people unconscious from behind, smother them unconscious in their beds. That sounds awesome. Give that to me, please. Buy the skill, yes. Cool, how do I use it? Do I need my stick? I better figure out how to get rid of him real quiet, like. I definitely don't want a crowd. <gasps> it's better this way. Okay, got him. Drop him. Okay, I can't... Yeah, sure. It's not ideal. You have anything on you, Rodney? Not a thing. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, I got some bobby pins. That's good. Uh, drink from tap. Fill container. Oh, which I don't have. Because they stole it! Because they took everything from me. Uh, great. Um... I'm looking okay at the moment. 
What's my number one thing there? I got something. What is this? Healing bomb restores this mom. Oh, that's helpful. In case I need that. In the meantime, I have a stick. Uh, press C to sneak while sneaking. Your visibility is lowered and you make less noise. Yeah. You can also see the footsteps of nearby enemies, even through walls. Try sneaking past the hooligan in this room. Oh, that's very helpful, actually. I, mean, I could sneak to the next room. I could also probably just take that dude out. <laughs> I could sleep in this bed. If I truly wanted to. Doesn't seem like the smartest thing to do. A reminder that I'm trespassing. Thanks. Still over there. This is stupid. This is stupid. But I did it anyway. Okay. Um, quick slots uh, fill automatically from your inventory and are displayed in the lower right. Ba 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 ba. You can press it again to scroll through them. It's easier to move among your enemies if they are looking somewhere else. To cause the distractions, like your gadgets, quick slot and tap three again until you cycle to a bottle. Raise the bottle with F. Press and hold to aim and release it to throw. Okay, glass bottle. Look at all these bottles. Convenient. Okay, so now I can tap three, switch to a glass bottle. If they're not looking the way I want them to look, I can make them look somewhere else. So that guy's walking around at the moment. And I get to see his steps, which is really nice. I probably want to get to the other side of the room there. Kind of walked around him. There's a lever here. I'm not really sure what this does. This guy's walking this way. Is there stairs over there? Not entirely sure. I have 12 glass bottles at this point. Just a uh, quite frankly unnecessary amount of glass bottles. Stay there. I'll go this way. Seems like it works out well for both of us. Let's go ahead and get in here. I think it really wanted me to distract them. So go over there. Because it was a quest. Find a power cell. <sighs> Just rest in the feet. Did not want to sit, but apparently that's a good way to. It's a good way to hide. I need to close this door. There we go. Got some more medals. Hamlet and give that chap his medals, and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. Right. Now I just need that power seal. Glass bottle of steel. Locker, search locker. Doesn't seem to be anything of interest in here. Uh, okay, now I've got to. I still have a marker helping me. Let's see, where is that guy? Over there. Guy did not see me, which is helpful. Oh, that would be good. Can I get my stuff back? Well, I think that's everything I had when they jumped me. Wonderful. That looks like the exit. Exit. Yeah, that's the get out of here. So what I need to do... 
Ye. Oh god. Not ideal. Oh, that's bad. Maybe you could, like, check the other direction or something. There you go. Can't believe that works. Okay, um, cool. Power cell. Go. I can find a power cell right there. Got it! Motiline, pure resublimated dimotoline. The fuel of the future now. Okay, there we go. I think I'm good. Oh my god. Woo! Wow. Oh my god, I'm in the courtyard. Oh Jesus. Like, of course I am. I gotta get out of here. That's where I came from. If I crouch, I bet I can disappear into those bushes. Enemies won't spot you if you're sneaking in uh, one of the bushes with yellow flowers until they bump into you. So, yellow flowers. Until they bump into you, of course. So that's a guy right there. How do I get out of here? You are concealed. Trying to figure out... Oh god. Get out the stick. Oh god, we're on the move now. This is not an exit. Well, why does this exist? You have anything on you? They all have names, too. Do I have a new... I have a new weapon. Wonderful. No one's even around. I just need to get out of here. Locked. Craft basic lock pick and leave. With pleasure. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've never been so happy to get outside. That was intense for the first, like, real mission. They really I threw you into that. For a bit. Holy crap, man. Jeez. All right, let me get back, uh... Let me get back to this guy. He's gonna want to know what happened. Um, now, do I have the... Okay. Oh, bother. Wait, is there, like, something going down? So I'm trying to return this guy... Wait, what's... What is that? Who's up here? to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's try not to get killed, shall we? I'm just trying. What? What? Hold on. Hold on. I'm just trying to get back to this dude, man. I'm just trying to get back to this dude. Which? Which? That's where I'm going. Okay. All right. So I'm going the right way. I have been all over the place. Let me just try and... Oh, God. Uh... Hello? Anyone out there? The hell? Are you a tourist? You're dressed like one. Oh, shit. Oh, no. It's not a minute, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here! Over here! Do you want to get thrashed? You're new here, aren't you? From the parade? Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? Oh, 
<laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return, you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous. Your funeral? Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death. You better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy and it like flips a switch and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! You received a rock. Craft a torn suit. So you go in here. Torn suit. Got it. And am I am I good? Because I'm not obviously wearing the proper suit if it's torn. Now it's torn. I don't think my suit is decent anymore. I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a wastrel. Huh. So depending on where you are in the game, you need a proper suit or a torn suit. That's interesting. All right. I was hoping to get back to where we were going a minute ago, but I think this is a really great place to stop. We've played an hour of the game, and I have to say I'm pretty impressed. Um, I, I, it's it's far deeper and more complex than I thought it was going to be. It has a great sense of humor, which I appreciate. And uh, the game's just fun to play. It's also different than I was expecting. I don't know why I was thinking it was like a first-person shooter. The combat is in there, and it's a little fleshed out, but it's not really the point. Um, you you want to stay away from people. You want to stay out of trouble. I've really enjoyed what I've played so far. Now, um, We Happy Few is coming out today for first uh, for first 20. It's coming out today, August 10th. Um, if you get it and you play a little more of it, I'd love if you would come back to the comments of this video and help your fellow commenters, um, you know, make a informed decision. Help them, uh, help them know exactly what they're getting into. If you if you play a little bit of the game and you and you truly enjoy it, and uh, you're you're liking what you play, let them know if you are uh, enjoying enjoying the game. Because from what I've played so far. It seems pretty good. If you pick it up on PC, uh, do consider using the Humble Bundle link that I have on screen and in the description now. If you use that link and uh, buy the game using that link, uh, you will help support uh, Mal, myself, and Stephen Plays, and we certainly appreciate it. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week for more Stephen Plays First 20.